Have you ever noticed that black and white videos look kinda dull compared to black and white photographs? I mean, of course, there are exceptions, but in general, black and white videos just look strange, don't they? Today, I will reveal that one trick that photographers use to make their black and white images stand out, and I will show you how to do this in Final Cut Pro. First, let's deconstruct what makes a great black and white image. It's well exposed, it's rich in contrast, and it has very distinct color processing. Wait, color processing? Yes, and this is what we're talking about. Have you ever noticed that if you switch your treatment from color to black and white, the HSL section changes from HSL in color to black and white mix. So you're still able to manipulate the colors. Let's have a look at the blue, for example. The sky is obviously blue or some aqua tones. And if you decrease it, have a look at this. We can change the luminance of the color. And this is the trick photographers use to create stunning black and white images. Let's have a look at what we can achieve with this. For the longest time, video files weren't as robust as today. Especially 8-bit footage falls apart rather easily. So let's have a look at it. I will grab the HSL curves and try to change the luminance. So I go to the hue versus luminance curve, sample the sky, and I try to change the luminance of the sky. But first, let me spread these points a little bit, something like this, and let's pull this down. As you can see, it breaks, pixelates, and creates rather weird halations very, very soon. I mean, the adjustment is quite intense, I can pull that back, but this wouldn't be a great result either. If you shoot at least 10-bit 4 to 2, you can pull this effect off rather easily. So let's have a look at a piece of 10-bit footage. What you need to do in order to achieve this effect is create two layers. One would be the desaturation layer, so I will pull down the global saturation and I make sure I put this last. Then I would need another hue saturation curves adjustment layer and put this one on top of the color wheels. Because remember, within the inspector, the order of operations goes from top to bottom. You have your input at the top and your output at the bottom. The video signal goes through the LUT through the hue saturation curves, where we will make the luminance adjustments and gets desaturated afterwards. So let's go in here and sample this yellow sign, for example. And as you can see with 10-bit footage, I can manipulate everything rather easily. I could even sample this green at another control point here and manipulate the leaves. Have a look at that. Does this mean you can only pull this effect off when shooting 10-bit footage? Well, no. I made a plugin that works with 8-bit footage too, but please keep in mind, this plugin cannot make your footage more robust. It just adjusts everything in a more delicate way. Back to the weaker piece of footage. I go into my effects, grab the black and white effect from the color tools, and then let's have a look at it. We created some horrible pixelation when adjusting the luminance in the sky, so let's have a look at what this plugin can do. I will pull this down. Let's try to work with the aqua slider as well. Okay, something like this. Let's pull that back. Okay, let's roll it off like this. And let's have a look at the before and after. This is before, this is after. It still kind of pixelates here, so I will grab this blue slider and turn it down a notch. Let's have a look at the before and after. This is before, this is after. We should pay attention to the critical areas. So for example here, what's happening? Okay, it's, it's kind of okay. And over here, we don't have that weird halation from before, so this is a good sign. Yeah, this is before, this is after, and the rollover is kind of, yeah, kind of great. As you can see, this plugin doesn't perform miracles at all, but at least it doesn't send your 8-bit footage straight to hell. Back to the wonderful world of 10-bit footage, let's apply the black and white plugin as well and try to manipulate the reds in this sign and decrease the luminance. Have a look at the letters here. If I decrease the luminance, we can greatly increase the contrast in this sign. And if I don't push it that hard, but increase the orange a little bit, have a look at the before and after. This is before and this is after much more dramatic. In general, I would advise you to be extremely delicate with targeted luminance adjustments when working with even 10-bit footage. It gets better and better the higher bit depth and the more color resolution you have to work with, but assuming you're shooting 8-bit or 10-bit, you should be rather delicate.